this steam generator iron recently blew the fuses in our mains power um, so I've had a quick investigation and I thought I'd show you what the problem was um, if you don't know what a steam generator iron is it's one of these all the rage for the last 10 years or so this is our third or fourth one I think uh, when you take them apart there are several screws underneath to prevent him coming apart um, look underneath uh, these little rubber feet sometimes depending on the model the screw will be buried down there uh, in this case there were one two three four five six I believe screws to undo need a long reach screwdriver plus these ones under here which are hidden by the water tank which normally sits here uh, once you've undoed all, all of those the top comes off all the ones I've had have come off in a similar way so you're left with the bulk of the machine down there and just a, a top which is basically an iron rest um, our particular problem was related to this tube here which is the um, sucking part of the steam vessel this is the steam vessel um, it had just slipped off the um, spigot uh, we keep this iron in our conservatory generally it gets very hot I think the temperature just loosened the pipe off it came and then when the iron was switched on uh, it blew water all over the insides fusing the electronics which are down here and that then caused the uh, fuse to blow in the house so quick simple solution just put the tube back on the spigot and put the spring clamp back in position and as long as the temperature in the conservatory doesn't get too hot in the future uh, it should work okay uh, there was quite a bit of water collected uh, in the bottom or rather in the in here when I turned it upside down all the water ran into this um, so just watch out for that before you screw it back together make sure you give the electronics a good chance to dry out and um, before attempting to plug it in again uh, thanks for watching